Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim, and today is a bittersweet day. It's the day we're going to move our camper off the Ridge property onto the new off-grid Ridge property, and I hope you enjoy the journey. This is a 2013 model Forest River Wildwood x Lite. It's about 18 feet long and not very big inside. Now, I can sleep me fairly comfortably and maybe one or two guests uh, for a very short period of time. I'll give you a tour on the inside, but let's get it moved to the uh, Ridge 30-acre property in the back where we'll be setting up for the two-year long haul to get the off-grid cabin built. So let's do this. One thing to mention is I've only got a seven gallon water heater, so, and it does work off propane. I got two propane tanks in the front, but only a seven gallon water heater. So you're taking Navy showers, you know what I'm talking about? Wet down, lather down, rinse off and go. But I do have a really nice brand new awning here. Uh, me and my son, Morgan, we put this new awning on uh, this past summer. If you haven't seen the video of that, click on it right there. There's a video of uh, how to replace an awning. Very, very cool. So nice new awning for a, a nice sunny afternoon, uh, enjoying the beautiful Ridge property. Here on the back side of the camper, this right here holds the uh, cable where we'll connect our generator and our power to. So right there gives us power there. I do have a city water connection, but we don't live in the city, do we? Um, when I do have the camper next to the uh, off-grid, or the cabin, not the off-grid cabin, the Grandma Carol's cabin, I will be able to connect a hose up there for a while. Uh, this is the, uh, the natural, or the propane uh, heater exhaust and intake port. So uh, we do have a uh, propane heat on the inside. We'll have electric space heater as well. Um, back here, Yes, the down and dirty. We have the gray and black water connections, and you're right. I'm gonna have no sewer connections, so I'm gonna have to get one of those uh, portage containers and dump this periodically at a waste uh, disposal place. So uh, that's not gonna be fun. Now here in the back of the camper, this tilts down, so when I do go travel out to the the 41.36 or come on mountain, you know, I can put my generator back here and all that stuff. But I do have a water connection back there and that's where I put potable water. So I can fill up, I think a 30 gallon tank um, to have fresh water here on board. So for washing, showering and all that. So uh, at least I have a few amenities, right? I'll tell you all this now because I know some of you are gonna notice like, Tim, your camper looks so nice, but right here in the front, it's all, all the paint's washed off. What that is, is super clean. Guys, super clean is an amazing cleaner, but you don't wanna concentrate it too much or it will take the paint off your camper. So uh, luckily that's aluminum, so it's not gonna rust like that, but uh, it doesn't look that good, but it still serves its pur purpose. Before I hook up the tow vehicle, I know I'm gonna have a few of these questions saying, Tim, can this SUV tow that camper trailer? Well, guys, this isn't just any ordinary SUV. This is the Dodge Durango SRT. It's got a 6.4 liter, uh, 392 cubic inch Hemi engine in it, guys. This thing does zero to 60 in 4.1 seconds, 12.6 second quarter mile, and guys, has a towing capacity of 8,700 pounds in tow mode. Guys, that's more than most F-150 pickups can do. So can this thing tow? Oh yeah. Normally if I was towing this, I put the Blue Ox weight distribution bars on, but since I'm just going a few miles around the property, I think it'd be just fine. So let's get out of here. I'll let you listen to this SRT start up, guys. Woo, baby.
But now it's all falling apart Right now you don't know where to start Right now the walls are caving in Right now you don't know where to begin Right now you're searching high and low And right now you don't know where to go Right now you hear the thunder roar Right now it feels like you lost the war Call on me To the other side Call on me I'll help you ease your pain And if you only knew That I'm right here for you Call on me Right now you're fading to the dark Level, man. We're level uh, left to right, front to back, and uh, I'm pretty happy with that. It's starting to get dark on me. We made it here without it getting rained on too much. I got drizzle and stuff. Of course, that that Durango is is all wheel drive, but it's not four by four, so I didn't have to tear the yard up too much. Uh, got a little slick on me, but we got it in here uh, to this open field, and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I'm going to bring you back when it's a little lighter and uh, finish setting up the outside and then we'll take you on the inside for a tour. So we'll see you next time. Welcome back. We have a beautiful day today. The sun is out. You can hear the birds chirping. Uh, it is late in the afternoon and we are going to finish up a couple things on the outside. Um, I do not have my uh, cast iron steps for the entryway. Uh, they're up in the barn. I forgot to go get those. Uh, so right now I just have the pull out step. You saw me put that back in when we were uh, bringing the camper down here. But I got some cast iron steps. They're wider, nice solid platform. Better having to step on that little uh, re retractable one. So we'll get th that down later. You know, we already have the brand new awnings. We're good there. Uh, but what I do need to do is I need to get the um, wheel covers on because that sun will eat these tires up uh, uh, very bad. UV will just destroy that rubber over time. So let's get and get the, uh, the tire covers on. I got those right here and uh, that'll make them look better and also protect them. These are simple enough. You just slide over each tire and these are really uh, pretty decent quality. I got these on Amazon. I'll leave the, the link I think down in the description if I can remember because these are really good quality. I've been very happy with these um, as far as their durability look you know sometimes you'll get them and they'll be real flimsy and they'll crack in the sun but these have held up very very nicely and you can select the size you have for the size tire you have but uh man yeah i'm just uh boom i'll get the other side on and we'll have this part done Look at this beautiful view out here, guys. This is what we looking outside the camper in the evenings, the sunset over there, uh, looking across this pasture through this little opening there. Uh, turkey, deer, always crossing this field right here. This is gonna be a nice place to uh, relax in the afternoon for sure, so enjoy. I'll show you more of the outside at a later date whenever I get the awning out, get decorations up. I'll get a patio out here with, uh, with some tiles. I'll have a walkway out here. We'll have some lawn chairs. Probably going to do a fire pit right here overlooking that beautiful field sunset view. But first, let's go inside and I'll give you the, uh, the cheap tour. As the sun sets there across my beautiful view. We're gonna come inside and check out my humble abode. There's my awesome porch light. <laughs> come on inside. Let's see what we've got in our cozy cabin here. 
little camper. Ooh, we've got Ridge Lives Tuesday Night Live pre prepped up. Who's going to watch that tomorrow night, guys? Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Central. we got big news going on. I see what I see. An Elvis rooster. I got a Highland cattle. I got a cowboy emoji. And I got, a, oh, a blue tractor. Man, you, that's a real tractor, guys. If it's red or if it's orange, that's a lawnmower, guys. Come on now. Of course, we've got a bunch of different colored Ridge Life things, too. I don't know what that's all about. But we'll find out on Tuesday Night Live. And now, I just put that 40-inch TV up there. I got a little bitty one over here. Um, that is connected to the antenna with an amplifier, so I can get local news and uh, emergency, you know, stuff like that. But uh, most of the watching is going to be here on the uh, the big TV. Oh, I used to have a 65-inch. Now I'm going down to a 40-inch, and I call that big. That's pretty funny. But um, we'll watch our YouTube, watch our Netflix and all that stuff right here from the comfort of our fold-out couch right there. And now, uh, this is also going to be a, uh, a fold-out bed. If I got guests coming over, they can pop down right on there. And that's a decent sized bed. And of course, they'll have the TV to watch. Not too bad. Maybe come on when a come on comes through, he'll be sitting there. And uh, I think he, he may be a little too tall for that. Ooh, don't know. Don't know. Um, but I do have some storage up there. Now, looking back towards the expanse of the cabin of the of the camper here, uh, <laughs> you can see it's not too big, guys. This thing is 18 feet long. Uh, we do have a dinette right here, and this dinette uh, does convert into a, a, a double bed also, or a full-size bed, I mean, but uh, it's never going to happen. I, I leave this. It's too much of a pain in the butt to rearrange everything, so that don't happen. I do have an air conditioner right up here. This is uh, we do have air conditioning when we do have power connected to it. And we've got a sound system, guys. Jensen. Y'all remember Jensen <laughs> Stereos? Uh, we have speakers, uh, two inside here and two on the outside of the cabin as well. Uh, our camper, I should say. Uh, now, uh, we have various LED lighting. We, we revamped all the lighting here with LEDs. Uh, I prefer... Um, a soft white. These are more natural light, so I'm just going to have to deal with it. But I do have a sink and a stove, three burner stove. Now down here, um, I do have a propane heater. So I do have some heat, uh, but I'll have a space heater sitting right there. And give me a, a little more convenience when I have got electricity going on. So uh, there's a carbon monoxide detector, and I do have uh, smoke alarms throughout, two smoke alarms, I believe. Uh, I got a vent hood, and we got a little microwave. Look at this cute little microwave, it's so cute. Um, not much bigger, or not much than our freezer, which I do have on and nothing in, but it's nice and nice and cold. And now, guys, what does Tim have in his refrigerator? Come on now, let's see what he's got in his refrigerator. What do you think? <laughs> Coke Zero, now more delicious, baby. That is all I got besides some Arm & Hammer baking soda. So we have got to get this thing, this camper homied up because we do not have it ready for that. Now, guys, a little bitty sink right here and a mirror. Come on back to the, the uh, amenities, the bathroom. We've got a skylight, exhaust fan, shower. It's, I, I can get in there. It's a little, little tub. Of course, the RV uh, toilet, you know how that goes. And we have to have that special RV paper so it can just uh, decompose quickly. Um, but I, I can get up in there. Let me, let's, let me stand up here and, and show you how I fit. Now, all right. Now, come on with a come on. May have a little problem here. See, I got this uh, curtain rod here. I think I'm going to move that for clothes in there. Um, but I could store clothes in here because, well, no, I'll take a shower. I can't do that. Never mind. Um, but I do have a shower curtain. But yeah, I, there's there's room. Uh, Gary, Gary, you'd have, Gary from uh, Simple Life Clam have a little trouble. He he might be able to get up in that hole there. But um, I'm just fine. I'm 5'10", so I got no problems with that. But uh, coming back in to the bedroom area, we can see the top bunk here top bunk i will probably do is put that shower rod up there so i can have more uh you know jeans and pants and stuff hanging there and i've got i got towels and sheets in here right now i'll move that out and get my clothes in there i don't have those in there but i bought these tubs here put socks and underwear and t-shirts and all those things there now here is the big bed guys check this out this is the big bed look at that that's less than a full size, less than a full size. I had to, I got a 10 inch memory foam, 10 inch memory foam that I had to cut about 12 inches off the side to make it fit in here. <laughs> 
because that four inch thing was terrible. Uh, this is memory foam here. I got uh, for any guests, I can always pull those out, put them uh, on the dinette if I have to. But so this is 10 inch memory foam and I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's not gonna be too bad. So let's sit in here. Uh, sorry about that. Oh, okay, and this is like being on a submarine. See, I was on a submarine submariner and i'm used to sleeping in little caves like this so what i gotta do is there's a see it fits like this and then i can come in ugh, get in like this and it's not bad i'm, I'm halfway down still but uh, i can make it work i can make it work so guys this is this is it this is where i'm gonna be for the next two plus years as we build the off-grid cabin and um you know, I don't think it's going to be an issue. Um, it's just me, my son Morgan, to come visit. Um, when my uh, granddaughter, um, Adelie, and, and daughter Alyssa, or my son Tyler come down to visit, we'll just go over to the off uh, to the uh, Grandma Carol's log home, and that's where you know they'll stay. Um, of course, they can stay out here with me too if they want. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll rough it. You know. Um, they're not too far away, so that's 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 a good thing. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video of uh, seeing us bring down, set up our camper. Um, it, bittersweet, you know, um, leaving the big giant Ridge farmhouse. Um, life happens. Life happens. Uh, so this is where I'm at now. This is my station in life, and I'm going to make the best of it, right? So I will live here for a while. I'll start clearing the land, get that barn built, and then start getting the road and clearing the land for the off-grid cabin. And uh, you guys can join me for the journey, and I sure appreciate it, guys. Um, we will be not only doing lives on Ridge Life, we're going to be doing lives on Ridge Life Ramblings. So if you haven't subscribed to Ridge Life Ramblings, click that link right there. And a lot of people are saying, Tim, when you go like that, there's no link. Well, if you're watching it on TV, that's probably why. They might not do the links when you're on TV, but when you're watching it on your phone or uh, PC, there's a link right there. So Ridge Life Ramblings, I'll be doing all kinds of vlogs and talks like this right here. And we'll be doing live streams, interviews, guys. Big news, interview list coming out soon, who we've got in store. So guys, if you like today's video smash that thumbs up it's like like right in this area right here uh again subscribe if you haven't it's free it doesn't cost a penny we do have memberships now so go check that out those are live so until next time i hope everyone has a blessed blessed day and go ridge lab